gonna show you my transitioning regimen, what products I'm using, and what products are working to soften my new growth and to help me through the transition process. My shampoos and conditioners, I got the Cure Care Humecto Conditioner, which has always been my favorite conditioner even when I was relaxed. It is so perfect for relaxed and natural hair. I use it for my daughter's sexualized hair. I use it for my relaxed hair, and now I'm using it for my um, transitioning hair. It's the perfect formula for um, softening your hair, your, your new growth. And um, it's not coming out right now. No big deal, but anyway. This is by Avalon. Of course, all Avalon products are just really excellent. The Cream of Nature um, shampoo, I'm a big fan of the original formula. I actually, my friend um, Lintor from Black Hair Planet, Supermodel Black Hair Planet, and my dear friend sent this to me all the way from the UK because we don't have, uh, I can never find the original Cream of Nature formula here in the United States. So she always scouts it out for me and finds it, and I love her to death for it. So anyways, um, this designer um, design essentials hydrate, leave-in conditioner. I talked about this in one of my last videos, but this is really good as my leave-in. It's also helping with softening new growth. Um, that's pretty much it for my conditioners um, and shampoos. What I use to kind of help glossify my hair when I need, you know how your hair can be kind of dull. This um, Proclaim Spray-On Glosser is so excellent. What I suggest is to use it while your hair is damp. It's really, really good for softening and detangling. And it also gives you a nice sheen right after you dry your hair, whether you're doing a roller set or twist out or whatever. This is really, really good. I moisturize with my favorite olive oil, incredibly rich hair lotion. This is inexpensive, can be found at local drugstores and um, it really works. It's thick. It's a very, as you can see, my bottle's almost gone, but it's a thick texture and I like it even because it, although it's thick, it doesn't weigh my hair down. I also use this for my daughter's texturized hair and I love this stuff. To seal, I use um, something that I don't have right here is my argan oil that I buy from Sally's, the one and only argan oil. I'm out right now and I plan to make a uh, purchase tomorrow when I go to Sally's but right now I'm using jojoba oil and I just got this little cheap bottle from BSS and I also use the um, African Republic organic virgin coconut oil you can I use this as a pre poo you can use this as a pre poo because what it does is it's working on that new growth and it's softening and once you actually wash your hair and style you will see a big difference in your your texture is actually going to show some some difference. Of course I'm doing my um, hair affinity challenge and I'm continuing to take these. They're not making me sick so that's very exciting because normally hair vitamins make me sick. These things are just really good as long as I eat them on a full stomach or eat something with it. And I have been increasing my intake to two a day and drinking lots of water. I wanted to talk about this little brush. I actually only paid like two dollars for this little brush at Walgreens. I got it because I was just I kind of picked it up, you know, not thinking about it. I just thought I'd buy me a little detangling brush. This thing has really helped me through a lot of days when my new growth was a little less manageable. So I love this and what I'm going to do is go ahead and invest in a real detangling brush that probably costs a little more. But right now I just put this in my purse and I use it when my hair gets a little untamed. I use this a lot. Of course, I have my big tooth comb, wide tooth comb, and in my spray bottle is just water because I'm noticing that, of course, detangling is always better when you have H2O on hand, and the wetter, when your hair is wet, of course, it detangles better. I wanted to introduce this little, this little wrap. I got it from Target today. I paid $10 for this head wrap, but... I think this is going to be a really good friend of mine during my transition process. It has a wire in it and I used it today. I tried it on my hair and I tried it on my daughter's hair and it actually does a wonderful job of covering, you know, when you since I have the two different textures. Uh, it's a cute little style. Of course, I could wear it straight or I could wear it roller set or whatever. 
but it's perfect because I can bend it any kind of way I want and tighten it. Sometimes when it's just all cloth, they move around a lot. This one doesn't tend to move around at all. And that's about it. Um, I will say that this is in between my salon visits. My next step is to get a weave and it'll be my very first weave. But I'm thinking that a weave is going to be ideal for my transition journey because I want to stay away from the heat. Although my stylist has suggested and she said that it'll be okay if I went ahead and um, use heat like every two weeks. I just don't feel really comfortable about that because I really want to do this transition thing right. And I really feel like that's going to be damaging, although she does use a good heat protectant. I'm going to get the weave and then I'm just going to just manage my hair, you know, between salon business on my own. But my goal is to stay away from the heat and just really get used to wearing my hair not on straight or not straight. That's about it. Thank you for watching and um, I will come back and update you when I get my weave, my very first weave. So wish me luck on that. If you have any suggestions for me or any questions, please just leave those comments down there. Please comment and subscribe and um, see us. come see us at the Black Hair Planet Forum and also on Facebook. Thank you for watching and remember beauty has purpose. Bye-bye.